It's been a dream for me to step foot in Iraq, just to trace back my roots, to touch that soil, to see where I came from. And it's just something that we've, I've come to terms with. It's not going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen. I mean, my parents have been living here for over 20, almost 20 years, over 20 years, and they haven't stepped foot once. So I think we're slowly coming to terms with the fact that we will never be able to return to our homeland. Oh, here's another black one. Yeah, yeah, he's Oh my God. I think his brother's with him. My name is Hamasa David. I am an 18 year old Assyrian Christian who was born and raised in New Zealand. However, my um, ancestral homeland is Iraq and my family originated from Iraq. So the biggest problem in Iraq, um, I believe right now is the, the two religions, they're clashing and it's, it's, it's between the Christians and the, the Islamic people. They're just not working well together. I mean, they've been living together peacefully for years, so I don't know what's changed. It's this ongoing war um, between religions. That, I mean, we hear about the Holocaust, we hear about the World War, and you'd think you'd learn from history, but I mean, these things are just happening now. It's a modern day genocide. All the uh, Christians were forced to flee their homes and they were marked with the red letter on their doors, kind of like the Jews were placed with the Star of David on their homes. And then the uh, Christians were forced to flee their homes and um, find shelter anywhere. They're now sleeping on floors and churches. Even churches aren't safe. They keep getting bombed every week and ISIS flags are being um, put up instead. Um, women are being raped and slaughtered and sold in the um, slave markets. And that's just, that's been going ongoing for a, a long time now. While I do believe ISIS is responsible for these atrocities, you see their flags being pointed up. And we've heard stories from, um, we've heard tales from our family saying that they have come and um, gave, given us an ultimatum to either convert, pay a religious tax, um, leave or die. A lot of people have family there and a lot of people have had constant phone calls and messages saying that we have fleed, we are now living here, we are living here, we've, we've seek refuge at a, at a camp. But um, in terms of my family, my family are safe in um, northern Iraq right now, so nothing um, has happened to them. But that's just my family, there are other families here who can say the complete opposites. ISIS is a huge threat to the world. I mean, I, when this situation first happened, when we first heard um, these, about these threats, we, we warned the world, we, we protested, we sent letters to governments around the world, um, we warned them that this was a serious threat and now it's become a reality. I mean, you keep hearing ISIS threats in Australia, in New Zealand, like this is a worldwide thing and it should be taken seriously. I do believe that ISIS could be a potential threat to New Zealand. I mean, especially now that New Zealand is getting involved. They're getting involved, and I don't agree with that. I mean, in terms of getting involved, I think New Zealand should send aid, um, help out there, um, rather than working together with um, the troops, I guess, and fighting with ISIS. The Assyrian history is one of the most amazing histories you will ever hear about. It dates back from over 1700 years and it's um, just the language, that's what I want to know. Get back to my language, trace my roots, taste the food, see where it all came from, you know. But I can't do that. <laughs>